Welcome my beloved primary four students in a new concept of unit one in the science curriculum. In the last concept, we learned about different senses and how they receive information from the environment and send them to the nervous system where the brain interprets them so that the body can respond appropriately according to each situation. Each sense is responsible for receiving information from the environment. Senses of hearing receive sounds and sense of sight receives light and sense of smell receives scent. This is the concept we will start now, light and sight. We will learn about light and its behaviors. How we see, how do you think our eyes see objects? How do nocturnal animals hunt accurately in the dark? What are the nature of light and its behaviors? That's what we will study throughout our learning in Wonder, Learn and Share lessons. في concept number three, هنبتدي نتعلم عن الضوء ازاي بنقدر نشوف وكمان ازاي النكتورن الانيمالز الحيوانات اللي بتبقى active at night بتقدر تشوف بدقة شديدة. We will also use the scientist skills as usual. We will ask, observe and analyze. Practically investigate, collect pieces of evidence and then evaluate. Remember that scientist skills are essential to us, especially when we study science as they make us think and apply what we are learning so the skills can help us in our daily lives مهمة جدا ان يبقى عندنا مهارات العلماء عشان نقدر نستخدمها في حياتنا prepare your book, pen and paper and let's start our first lesson in the light and sight concept as we used to do, we will start with the first activity can you explain? In our first activity, we will ask questions related to the investigative phenomena اللي هي الظاهرة محل البحث اللي هنقعد في خلال الست دروس نتعلم عنها ونبحث عن معلومات تفيدنا في الإجابة على أسئلتنا Our investigative phenomena for concept 3 are about nocturnal animals and how they detect their prey's location in the dark Let's imagine that the power is cut and we are in complete darkness. Will you be able to see? Of course not. What is the sense you will rely on to collect information about the objects around you? Can you think of the previous lessons when we talked about adaptation and sense? How can nocturnal animals be active in the dark? and use their sense to collect information about the environment around them. Think of the senses that help them the most. Then, open your book on page 65 and organize your ideas to answer this question. What needs to happen for humans or other animals to see an object in low light areas? When you remember what we have learned about adaptation, some of you might think that animals use unique adaptation to see in low light areas. يعني في المناطق اللي ضائتها بسيطة جدا. Or special senses to rely on. Strong sense of sight, like Lily the owl. Do you remember it? فاكرين Lily? البومة اللي كانت بتقدر تشوف حتى لو كان الأوبجيكتس مستخبية. Lily can see appropriately from far distances. Unlike humans, they cannot see well in low light places. In this case, they will need a light source to help them see. Since light is that important for humans, why can't some nocturnal animals hunt in the dark? Let's move to the next activity, ask questions like a scientist. In Ask Questions Like a Scientist, we will watch the video of the investigative phenomena. Then, we will ask ourselves how nocturnal animals can hunt at night. And do they have a unique ability 
to see better in the dark يعني هنشوف هم عندهم سوبر سنس ولا لا remember that we are in the wonder lesson I mean you will record your information and observations while you are watching the video and writing down all the questions that you still need to learn more about and they will help us know the relation between light and the sense of sight. أهم حاجة وإحنا بنتفرج على الفيديو لازم نركز جدا في السايت واللايت يعني إزاي الحيوان اللي إحنا هنشوفه هيقدر يشوف in a very low light First question I thought of is the environment where the fishing cat lives as you listened is the Amazon forest فاكرين مين تاني كان بيعيش في الأمازون forest الكابوك تري برافو سايت is very tricky during the day and almost Impossible during the night. Despite that, it can easily hunt there. Do you notice that its eyesight is very sharp? How much sharper is its eyesight than humans? It's about six times more powerful than human eyesight. يعني نظرها أقوى من نظرنا ست مرات. That's why it can hunt different prey, except for the prey that live in water. عشان كده هي بتقدر تصطاد اي حيوان الا الحيوانات اللي بتعيش في الميه scientists used night vision goggles to take a picture of it because of its fast movement how do you think it works this needs a lot of research something that, the that have the same ability this question will take us to the next active animal at night and can hunt it sprays accurately. Let's learn more about it. In the video, we saw how the fishing cat could accurately locate its prey, despite the darkness. I am sure that you have many questions, such as, for example, how does the eye glow in the dark? What is the mirror-like membrane in its eye that reflects light and collects it in the eye? The word membrane means a very thin layer in the eye. كلمة membrane معناها غشاء رفيع جدا يعني طبقة بسيطة جدا بتبقى موجودة في العين وبتجمع الضوء. And the membrane that is in the eye of the fishing cat is a significant structure that helps it see well during the night. And we will learn about it in the concept lessons. Let's collect more information. Many questions need investigation to find the appropriate answer for them. Open your book on page 66 and start reading the text. Make sure of the information you recorded from the video on page 67. Write three questions about what you still want to understand more. Whether about light, the sense of sight, nocturnal animals, or the eye's structure. I expected that we recorded many questions, such as, for example, do all animals have this same membrane in their eyes or only cats? What causes the lack of clarity of vision in humans in the dark? You may have a question about the phrase, it bounces off this membrane, which is a really important question, because light bouncing means reflection. يعني إيه reflection of light? When the light falls from the light source and hits any object. The object ده سواء كان جسم حيوان أو سواء كان desk أو أي حاجة قصدنا. What will happen? It's going to bounce back. يعني إيه bounce back? يعني هيحصل له reflection. يعني انعكاس للضوء. 
واخدين بالكم من اتجاه الاسهم the light falls from the light source hits the object then returns back to our eyes reflection of light occurs when the beam of light travels in a specific direction and strikes an object then it changes its direction this is one of the behaviors of light that we will learn more about as we study the concept you may also wonder what are the different sources of light that we can rely on to see this particular question will take us to the third activity evaluate like a scientist In this activity, we will apply the skill of evaluating, يعني تقييم المعلومات. While practicing the skill, we need to think about the alternatives to make a sound decision. On page 68, you will find pictures of different things. Can you specify which of them is considered a source of light? تفتكروا مين فيهم مصدر للضوء. Let's think about the picture we have. What is the first thing? I'm sure that is a source of light. The sun. Because it shines in the morning without using any lamps. What about the candles? Yes, for sure. Candle is a source of light because we use the candle when the light is cut off. What about the lamp and the chandelier? Lamp and chandelier, of course, they are also sources of light. When we enter any dark room, the first thing to do is to light the lamp or chandelier. All of these are sources of light. يعني إيه تاني sources of light؟ دي الحاجات اللي بتدينا ضوء. We have two pictures that confuses me. Do you think the moon and the window are sources of light or not? Maybe you think they are sources of light because they emit light. So the moon lights the sky at night and also the window glass lights the room when we open it in the day. But wait a moment. Have you noticed that they are not a permanent source of light? يعني هم مش بيدونا ضوء دايما. What if we open the window at night? The room will not be lit and the moon doesn't provide us with light. Except at a specific time. هنا وقفنا عن صورتين نفكر. صورة الشباك وصورة الأمر. Maybe you think they are sources of light. بس في الحقيقة they are not. صح? Because they can give us light. They don't give us light. They allow the light to pass. Or they reflect light. يعني الويندو بيعدي الضوء اللي برا والأمر بيعكس ضوء الشمس. So they are not sources of light. I think we all agree that the window and the moon are not sources of light because whether the window or the moon, they only provide us with light, but they are not sources of light. What if the sun goes down? Can the window bring us light? Of course not. The same applies to the moon. It only reflects the sunlight that falls on it, meaning that if the sun didn't send its light to be reflected on the moon, we wouldn't see it shining. Do we see the moon because it reflects the light of the sun? Yes. So, if it didn't reflect the sunlight, we wouldn't see it, indeed. Because it will be dark. For example, do you see the ball in my hand? Do you see the ball in my hands? Well, if you turn off the light, do you still see it? Now it becomes clear to us the role of the light source that we see the things around us and that we will not see without light. من أهم وظائف الضوء إن هو بيساعدنا نشوف الأوبجيكتس اللي حوالينا ولو ما فيش ضوء مش هنشوف حاجة. We need to know how exactly do we see objects around. What is the reason you might see something in a moment and suddenly when the light goes out you do not see it. ليه بنبقى شايفين حاجات اللي حوالينا ومرة واحدة لما الضوء بيروح ما بشوفش أي حاجة. 
To answer this question, we will complete the evaluating skill. We will go to page 69. We need to look carefully at the images. Each image has an eye and a lamp for light and seeing objects. We want to focus on knowing which image best represents the process of vision. We will choose one image that best answers the question how we see. خلي بالكو لازم تلاحظوا جدا الفرق ما بين الثلاث صور. ايه الفرق ما بين الثلاث صور؟ دايما بيبقى في الدايركشن اوف ارو السهم رايح منين لفين. When I practiced the evaluation skills and focused well on the alternatives, I found that I found that the first image showed that the light comes out of the eye. I asked it myself, is it possible that light comes out from my eyes? I thought that if the light comes out from my eyes when it's dark, we would easily see the ball. So this is not the correct choice. أول صورة كان الضوء بيخرج من العين. طب لو ده كان صح ما أنا كنت أي وقت لما النور هيقطع هشوف كل الأوبجيكتس اللي حواليا وده ما بيحصلش. So this is not a correct answer. As for the second image, it's almost the same idea. Light comes out from the eye and is reflected on the ball, then to the lamp. I think this is not true. The lamp provides us with light, but it doesn't receive light. This is also an incorrect choice. In the third image, it shows that light source emits a light that strikes the objects we see. Do you see the red ball in the image? And then the light is reflected on the eye. Which is how we see. خدتوا بالكو دايما اللايت هيمشي على ثلاثة steps هيطلع من السورس to hit the object then it reaches my eye. This shows how we see objects. We all must have chosen the last image on the page. Today we learned about the sense of sight and its relation to light. ركزنا كلامنا النهاردة على الضوء والعلاقة ما بينه وما بين حاسة الإبصار. Then we talked about how animals can hunt in the dark. We asked many questions. We will find their answers as we study the rest of the concept lessons. We learned about the light sources and how light must fall on objects and reflect on our eyes to see them. Until our next lesson, try to investigate more about nocturnal animals, how they can see in the dark to adapt to their environment, and what role light plays in how we see. Today is your diary day as a scientist. Your day was full of questions, observations, and evaluations. Thank you very much, and goodbye.